Y'all already know who it is, man. It's the Figaro Figaro, the bar guy, Danny Myers, Mug Talk Myers, the Sultan of Similes, the Lord of the Lines, the Emperor of Entendres, and all the other stupid names I got. Get up in that ring, your reputation's on the line. There are those that do this, and then there are those that are born to do this. Like me. Yo, bitch, keep throwing me the pussy. But check it, I'm good. She gave me head in the forest, cause that's her neck of the woods. Damn! 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 Damn. 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 Even though that head was good, I'm still looking for the next challenger. She had my sword stone, but it wasn't my ex caliber. I pass you a bottle of water. Mine got some Remy in it. This backpack ain't full of Bibles, nigga. It's a semi in it. I am from the city limits where niggas go to any limits. So when the charger, you better dodge like it's a Hemi in it. <laughs> uh, a friend of mine by the name of Jay Da Vinci. He, uh, you know, he lived in my neighborhood in Yorktown, and uh, he knew I, I was rapping through a mutual friend. Uh, and he told me, yo, there's a, a battle rap that you got here in Las Vegas by the name of Ahab, are you familiar with them? And I was like, no. And uh, he was like, yo, check them out on YouTube. So I went on there and I seen a couple of battles with Fats and uh, No Artisan. I just, and I like I liked what they was doing, but I, I, I said to myself that I could beat them. You know what I'm saying? And he, you know, he said, well, I know the guy who runs it. I'm like, I'm gonna bring him by your job one day. And he brought OD to my job. OD came up to the Greyhound, pulled up. It was like, uh, can you rap? I said, yeah. I said, go get any one of them. He said, well, I got a tryout coming up. You better, you better have some bars. I said, man. I said, whoever you put in front of me, I'm going to kill. I remember that day specifically, and I, it was on ever since then, man. He was, he was fucking with this bitch named Sarah. Something I never got. I mean, when dudes seen her when they was driving, guys forever stopped. She was cute in the face, and her thighs was hella hot, but she was like a dinosaur. Everybody wanted to try Sarah Top. Oh, I am from Los Angeles. We write about who's pins best. He is from Utah. All he write about is incest. Now, y'all pay attention. This about to get crazy, daddy. Your mama, girl, sister, niece all got the same baby daddy. Your brother is your uncle's cousin's son. You shouldn't be beefy with Danny. Your I'll take that shit too literal when they say keep it in the family. I am the secret. <laughs> Sorrow is coming from you. I will 3 0 you like me and two of my friends borrow some money from. Uh, Look at this barrel. Bullets come out, they like logs, and they will have your ass dying like a daylight blog. Dog, I don't need a script. I'd rather spit the truth. I don't boast about the drugs I sell or them heater scripts. I'd rather plead a fifth. Even if your yacht was in front of mine, you wouldn't know a thing about leadership. Me and my. <laughs> I swear to God, you can't be the type of nigga that they like. You look like the type that'll get your ass knocked out in a gay fight. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a faggot, pussy, or bitch? Look at your choices, boy, and circle one. We trading punches like you wanted the red Kool-Aid instead of the purple one. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go! Let's go! Daddy, let's go! Oh, I can do this all day! I rhyme hard cause I grind hard. I'm going to work on this nigga. I should have brought a time card. That pistol got long extensions like your girl's favorite hairdo. Bullets will pass through the father, down to the son, like an heirloom. I battled uh, P Money and Ratchet in the same night. Uh, I was set up to battle with P Money prior to the Ratchet battle. Uh, Ratchet issued a challenge to um, basically anyone for 500 bucks and he just called out anybody so I just took offense to that because I felt like oh you really think you somebody so I was like you know I could battle both of these guys in one night you know what I mean and that I wound up battling and beating both of them that same night at the A hat I believe it was how the West was one three or four I forgot the number but I remember that night too because I served both of them fools <laughs> Next thing I know, your whole started squeezing my flesh. My balls fell in her mouth. She was like, these is the best in nut decorated her hair like beads and barrettes. <laughs> <laughs> OD set me up with P-Money. 
But he strikes me as the funny type. I know you ain't bought your bread. You can't even spell money right. <laughs> <laughs> he put a U instead of O-N-E. Now that was dumb, nigga. But then it made sense because you ain't the one, nigga. No. Ooh. 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 Your bitch pussy is infested. Mm. She got some shit that'll bury you. She got every disease known to man except malaria. <laughs> she, she used to be a thick queen. Now she's a frail bitch. Her STD test results came back and said trail mix. Mm. Well, oh. shit. Well, yeah. shit. Hold on. Well, shit. Well, shit. Well, shit. It's true. Niggas forever striking. Even if she played football in Tennessee, her pussy would never tighten. I Shit and I rap for like 14 minutes. I probably had like another three minutes or maybe two minutes left. I was at the end of the, the round anyway while when they stopped me, but it was just like so many punches coming, so many punches and too much crowd reaction. It was just like a killing. Cause I mean, Ratchet actually did great in his first round and that was some of the best bars that was spit against me on a hat actually. And um, but then it, it was my turn to go and I just like almost had like unlimited ammo. And so they was like, yo, it was actually Jacasso. Jacasso was like, OD, stop this nigga. And OD, I, I, they, they pulled me off him, man. And that was actually historic because you had never seen somebody get stopped from rapping in a battle like ever. You haven't seen that in battle rap history. So that was a historic night for me. You can tell if a nigga gangster, so let's get to it. Cause a gangster gonna let you know that shit when it's just into it. We can put these guns down and squab it out, so let's get ruthless. He'll get the same beat every time, like the whole album of Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> Like I knew Danny Myers was top tier when he had two battles in one night. One of them was against P Money. It was three rounds. They had money on the line. I think it was maybe like two minutes each round. So he did that battle. And then maybe like an hour later, he battled Ratchet. And he was battling Ratchet for $500. And that was a one round battle. And in that battle, he rapped straight for 14 minutes, just spitting fire for 14 minutes. And it just seemed like he could keep going on forever and ever and ever. And the crowd was telling me to stop him. So I finally stopped the battle. But at that moment, I was like, man, this is like one of the best MCs I ever seen in my life. Cause I never seen nobody just spit out fire for 14 minutes. And I never seen nobody do that after they just had another three round battle before that. You, you think cause you fucking that bitch, you automatically own that? My nigga Peanut was on that. J-Mac was on that. She had a foursome with Big Trail. Lil Joker and Strong Black. They had dick all in her pelvis. They fucked her till her bone cracked. I said, let me put my celly in it. She even condoned that. Her pussy was like the FBI set up the way she let my phone tap. <laughs> Get your whole gang shaped, and I got a few heaters that 
45, 1911, just got a new sweeper. If you're doing bad, I'll front you some coke. I ain't talking to two meter, but if you lose them keys, my animals will lock you in like a zoo. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. You ain't got to show me you got a lot to prove. I stay strapped. I keep still like my mama told me not to move. Besides that money in your pocket, I leave it with your socks and shoes. You used to get robbed for your lunch money before you even got to school. Shots of crews, shots of crews like vacations. Now you in danger, fam. Even seven foot niggas are wilt when that chamber lane. said going into the Dre Vicious battle was here is a dude who's cut from the same cloth as me he's from the same area as me we both from Los Angeles we both understand the the, the hardships and the gang culture and I, I just went in that battle uh, really knowing that this would be a very tough challenge for me so I had to like try to up my pin game for that one just to really out I'll rap him because every time I battle somebody from the West Coast, it be dope battles. Like, All my boys in the hood. Uh -huh. I'm from South Central. I ain't got a lot to say. You would What's think that? I'm Lawrence Fishburne the way you see me pop a tray. I'm not the one you should try to play. Nigga, with this attitude, the beat I'll produce, you don't need a doctor, Dre. Ooh. If you see me in your hood, nigga, just keep it stepping. Since they got Danny versus Glover, let me show you this lethal weapon. Yeah. You rap great. You rap great street. I don't have a gang affiliation, but when it come to street niggas, I got a gang of affiliations. I came from humiliation. I'm talking extreme conditions, like one pack of noodles left in the fridge with the season missing. Oh, no. yeah. 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 I'm well aware. You should well prepared to be in the 
well somewhere in Delaware. Oh, Over no. your top, make your outfit look like something out of Wellaware. Fuck you! So every time I battle somebody from the West, it's it's really a tough challenge because they know what I'm going through and they they got like a similar mindset. So I just felt like I had to outdo Dre Vicious in every form of battle rapping, meaning the aggression, the punchlines, the intensity. Uh, I just had to step it up because I knew he was gonna come with it, and, and and plus given the fact that I was like the favorite or. I was the uh, head of him, I guess, so to speak. He w in the underdog role. You can't you can't sleep on the underdog. So I didn't I didn't sleep on him, and and I came out the victor in that one just because I didn't sleep on him. But if I had slept on him, I would have died. So shout out to Vicious. No, I don't bang. But when it's beef, nigga, I'm tool using, and I'll come see you in Jordan sounds like the Bulls losing. Bar. <laughs> You weigh 80 pounds. I don't see nothing vicious about you. If we born, I'll make sure I have your block fried. Then I'll feed your other baby a bowl of cereal with peroxide. I'm not lying. Besides, fine, that's your pop side counterclockwise. The West Coast ain't seen a nigga this wrong since Pop died. This wasn't overnight. Took 20 years for me to come up. Niggas be having two good battles and trying to use me as a come up. Choke you the wire, to you the color purple. This is Marlowe versus Harbo. I ain't battled it, ain't had in over a year. Few of y'all tried to come for my spot. These boys clones, even Roy Jones must have forgot. That is only one king in his league. That's me. Every nigga gon' die in these events until fat's free. Every time I step in his ring, I become an animal of the crude sort. A cannibal. I just eat and maul like the food court. Oh, 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 Why you trying to play these folks? You from Grape Street. But if we scrap it, then next snap. And I know 80 jokes, then I'll have my son kick your son ass, even in my baby low. If we bump heads, I promise I'm a dump lid. This box spring above you like I'm shooting with a bug bin. I once said, I once said, for this entire West Coast, I'm on a mission for. You got punches they gotta listen to. I got punches they gotta listen for. You was, you was misinformed if you heard I was a nigga with a calm essence. I'll bring the wrath of the king, my dude. You better warn peasants. Nigga, go on testing. It'll be like you got a prosthetic limb for Christmas. There'll be arms present. Dre. Dre. I'm a different Damn. brain. Dre. I'm a different brain of nigga. Don't F with me. You'll get a hook, then a dot at the bottom. Don't question me. Oh. I stay strapped for these so called haters. I see the shade in their eyes like Omar Davis. The homie like. We can war, Dre. Every goon in my circle bang. Assault rifles turn a great in a purple rain. They won't get this. They won't get this man a cure. Y'all read those hints? Dre will be ass out. I leave no prints. Since you talk shit, that's small toaster rise. It'll blow your funny bone to the left of you. All jokes aside. Damn. Damn. They'll never. They'll never. They'll never take the belt from Ben. Blocking my sock from the rocks I'm pushing. So when I do like this, it's not because I'm trying to block a whooping. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Give me space. Challengers think they fly till they get blown up. Oh, yeah, get that? 1986, NASA. Like Challengers shuttle blew up. I be making references before most of these niggas grew up. Oh, no. I'm too much. I'm too much. Bust this dick, I leave your girl drain. Watch as I get head on your pillowcase like curl stains. Your world. And you don't want to ride with this shit. You don't want to ride with this shit. Yes! When I battle Unique Bars, I, I had a, a grudge on my chest against black women. It wasn't it had nothing to do with her. It was like I just had I felt like a lot of social issues needed to be addressed, and I and I just used her as the conduit really to just you know relay the message. Yeah, I, I felt like the the black women have kind of getting away from them natural selves and. Uh, 
they they doing the hair weaves and the fake eyelashes and they just want to be in the clubs and not watching their kids and you know jumping from men to men bed to bed and that that's just not the way i was because when i was raised by my grandmother and, and i was i had a different perspective on black women from from her and she came from an older generation so i kind of was more traditional with how black women should respect herself and now that in this generation i just felt i had to address this generation and i used <laughs> unique bars to um get the message across and it was it was pretty bad and a lot of women was upset at me about that but so what <laughs> y'all gonna have to be mad until y'all change <laughs> I like them pants you got on there, bro. I don't lie. You rocking them. You at this battle, but got four kids at home. Who watching them? Don't say none of the daddies, cause two in jail, one dead, and you don't know who the other is. You left them with your neighbor, and she left them with your brother kids. This is what it is. I don't give a fuck what this bitch said. These boys, you can't withstand. This is it man versus a kickstand. Fat man versus quicksand. LeBron versus a six man. Fifth plan. I give her half the clip, then I switch hands. Quit playing. You trying to battle a man in hopes of beating one. That's not what's important. What about keeping one? Oh, deep. Get ready. <laughs> You ain't gonna never be shit. All you know is county building. I'm bringing communities together. I call this shit county building. You done had so much dick. You done had so much dick. It's not appropriate, Ken. She has to wear a pad every day to keep her fallopians in. They hope that she win. She's talking about guns, though. Who popping them? You at this battle, but got four kids at home. Who wants it all? Help me understand. Help me understand this black woman. I know this ain't your first battle, but how y'all go from being the backbone of family structure to trying to win a twerk battle? My nerves rattle. I love black women. My nerves rattle. I love black women, but I can't fuck with one. I was birthed by a black woman, but I can't put my trust in one. Y'all used to love your man. Get the house clean. Have supper done. Provide love, caring guidance from your youngest to your upper son. Black culture is so backwards. That's why I'm getting this rookie shot. Yo, six year old case. They are ABCs, but she sold not a pussy bomb. I hate to even be saying this, but fuck it. It's the crazy truth. Y'all tell y'all daughters to stay away from me, but send them out the house in some Daisy Dukes. The hood, the hood raised me. Them great street niggas to let them sing over the color purple like Sug Avery. I'm good, baby. Oh, should throw your rhymes in a trash compactor. They hit her in the face with a saxophone. That's how you jazz the rapper. I laugh. I laugh at bastards. I knew this bitch was gonna get bored. I laugh at bastards. I knew this bitch was gonna get bored. I wanna kill this new jack in my city so bad that my dick's hard. She went up with a rasp for the plane and leave her shit scarred. These bars are a formula you can't get off your wit card. I spit so I wasn't even gonna do facts. But look at your waist distance area. I could drop you from any point in space and you still wouldn't miss America. Now the beauty, now the beauty in that line is what I'm known throughout the country with. These metaphors are fine, but let me get to this ugly shit. You husky bitch. Ain't nothing you ever did too important. I hope you're greeted in heaven by the kids who are born. I know you. I know it's hot, I know we balanced, probably sweating down there, but let me smell your pussy right now. Fine, then. That was a timeout, but now it's time in. You fuck every nationality on this earth except time men. You do not have a relationship for the way you try to time in. Yo, son, don't be gay, cause his daddy don't put the time in. I rhyme sin. Who the fuck? I rhyme nigga. I remember when Danny Myers battled Unique Bars, and he had this line about women's rights and oh man he almost shut the event down with that bar when it comes to women's rights that should be left alone give women rights bitch i said when it comes to women's rights leave the left alone just give women's rights y'all should give them the life. <laughs> right right my mindset going into the diesel battle was diesel was always one of my personal favorites from Ahat, and I always felt like he was gonna be the next guy to lead the West Coast into the future. And I thought he, lyrically, his writing, his writing was uh, advanced, you know, and I, and pretty similar to mine. And so with that battle, I, I felt like I had to really, really up the pin game once again, because anytime I feel threatened, 
I mean, I take every battle serious, first of all, but when there is a certain caliber of MC, such as Diesel, I, I just had to take it to a higher level. And um, I think Diesel was just out, outmatched because by the experience factor is what it is. You know, I just, I'm older. I, I have way more references than he does, and I used more references than he did. And uh, I just, I was just on my bar guy shit for that battle. He was, but he did great. Shout out to Diesel, he did great, especially the to be battling me. I mean, I'm, I'm me. Damn, it's the bar guy. Anytime you go against me, it's like this is the toughest challenge of your battle career ever. And you know, some do good, some fail, some actually can edge it or make it debatable, but. It's always going to be the toughest battle of someone's career thus far when they challenge me. And so I think now that Diesel has went through that, he's going to be like exponentially better on his next battle. So watch out for Diesel. I pass him the crown. It's on him now. In Danny's Myers battle versus Diesel, I think he had the coldest boxing reference I ever heard in a battle. It was his uh, Roberto Duran scheme, and it was just nuts. It was nuts. I said the good news is you the nigga will pass the torch to. Before that happens, my nigga, I got the torch. Now let's get it in. My record clean, but I still got dirt on my hands. Your slogan is no mocks. I guess I'm a bird of the ring. I mean, hey. the similarities are here. I'm a clone of the man. Cause we both gave up on that corner with stones in our hands. Lord God. <laughs> you red top dog in the tape. I got you trying to turn on me. Well, like they co-president, it's gonna be hard to catch the punch on damn. Motherfucker hot. No, motherfucker hot. Been doing this since the 80s. Like every chance, I get the 22. When I first, I first started battling back in middle school, I would say around the time I moved to the Inland Empire, going to like schools in Rialto and Paris, California, what we would do is we would just joke on people at like lunchtime and recess, but it would have to be in a rhyme form. So it would be like, your shoes are so whack and your black shirt is whack. And on top of all that, you fat, you know what I'm saying? Like we would just do simple little things like that where they would have to rhyme. And then it would be the next person's turn. So we would take, cause we used to call it bagging or roasting sessions, but it was, you had to rhyme the words. So that's where I initially got the battle thing started back in you know middle school. Then in high school, you know, as I got better and better at it, I started really taking it real serious in 10th grade going to Crenshaw High, there was a lot of rap crews up there and we would travel and go to different high schools and challenge guys at Dorsey and Westchester Manual Arts and Long Beach Poly, wherever wherever they had dope rappers at, we would meet up and, and it was dangerous because in Los Angeles, like you can't just go to any neighborhood, especially if they didn't know you around there. Like you was putting your life on the line doing that. But I love doing it so much that I just, was I would I was willing to go to these different neighborhoods and challenge these guys and eventually I ran out of, of challenges and I was just like you know what I'm gonna go to the East Coast and and test my skills against those New York guys and that's when I moved to New York in 2000 and you know the rest was history you know. Listen, my brain's raw. 
I leave more pain calls than raising your son his whole life than finding out that he ain't yours. I stain floors with MCs and mic stands. With my right hand, I punch any nigga trying to be a hype man. I strike <laughs> beers that put up, try to move the joint. This nigga faker than Eminem, hugging Elton John, trying to prove a point. These crews anoint me as the rap king. I ain't good at hitting high notes, but I'm not to make a gat sing. The last thing you want to do is test this. I leave more niggas in shock than catching the death penalty in Texas. I'll get arrested for spitting less than 80 bars of perfection within the span of 20 seconds. I got a whack MC collection. I fucked your style without protection and gave it a vaginal infection. I want I want us to say that I'm I really doing this not for the for the money but just for the respect for the West Coast. You know, and I also have a, a personal goal to be mentioned with the great. So when they bring up Lux and Clips and Murder Mook and you know uh, Sirius Jones and all the legends that have been doing it. You know, I just want to get my name in that conversation no matter where you place me. I just want to be in a talk. So that's my personal goal in this. But on a bigger scale, I just want people to know that the West Coast has artists that are lyrically able to compete with anybody in the world. Because we never really got our props in terms of the writing skills. So that's what the mission that me and Daylight are doing. And we got others that are going to continue that, like Diesel and Emerson Kennedy and Yak Ripper and Dre Vicious. And there's just so many of them scheme. These are the new guys that are going to keep this West Coast movement going. So, you know, that's that's what I really hope to get out of this is to push the West to the forefront of battle rap. I'm powerful. I can stop the bullet of a trained marksman. My intelligence can interpret the Egyptian K markings. The game's talking. Faggot MCs get named often. I'm tossing you and your a and with the same coffin. Insane thoughts can beat you the fairway. He the type to tie his album to a kite just to get some airplay. <laughs> Another thing that sets Danny Myers apart from other battle MCs is his work ethic. Like he battles all the time, all over the world frequently like he battles every other week just about and you know he every time he says he's gonna slow down and only do a couple battles one month later he winds up having three or four battles that month so you know he just can't stop you know he just keeps going and going but his work ethic is above and beyond a lot of the MCs out there and I think that's why a lot of fans gravitate to Danny Myers because not only is he putting out the quality performances that they're looking for but he also battles regularly so they don't have to wait a long long time to see him battle he's out there battling all the time this, this man been dead. his sister sucked my dick to the hair fell off her scalp I call that shit skin here. <laughs> anybody that's a part of AHAT and what they need to do to become top tier is for one they need to want to be top tier that's the first thing you gotta want it because if you don't want it you ain't gonna get it so you know you gotta practice on your craft uh, study the study the game study the art study study the art study the legends study past battles and just work on what you need to work on and not be so much caring about what somebody else is doing you know just come with creative bars and then you got to test yourself outside of just your local neighborhood or, or your local league you got to test yourself among people in different regions you know I, I, I came I started right here in AHAC you know and I went to Chicago I went to New York I went to Indiana everywhere and, and just test yourself because different Markets have different skill sets that you can either learn something from or you can just gain that experience factor from so That's what these guys are gonna have to do to become a top tier in a hat And it's all about consistency, you know You just gotta because I see a lot of the guys have dope battles and then the next battle are not so good Then they have a cool battle then they're not so good. You gotta you gotta be better than your last self every time or you know or, or at least on par with your last dope performance so that's what it's going to take for them to become top tier in a hat danny myers is definitely top tier in a hat he's one of the top tier mcs on the west coast if not the top tier mc on the west coast and he's one of the top tier mcs in all of battle rap 
hit me on Twitter or social media, you get me at uh, Molotov Myers, M-O-L-O-T-O-V-M-Y-E-R-S, all one word. On Instagram, same thing, Molotov Myers. YouTube, backslash Danny Myers. Facebook, backslash Danny Myers. You can find me everywhere, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm here. Hey, niggas with broken English. I'm like Einstein masturbating, because my rhymes are a stroke of genius. <laughs> And even though he already on the ground with this shit, thank the Lord he don't got another round of this shit. Yes! Yeah!